Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet these watermelon pads for the kitchen. I'm using a total of 125 yards of worsted weight cotton yarn and a size H crochet hook. To begin, make a slip knot and chain four. Slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. Throughout this pattern, we'll start most rounds with a chain two, but these will not count as a stitch. For round one, make 12 double crochet stitches in this ring. One, two, three, and four. Then continue making the remaining stitches. Once completed, we'll skip over the initial chain two and instead slip stitch into the top of the very first double crochet stitch of this round. Chain two to begin the next round. For round two, the pattern is two double crochet stitches in each stitch around. At the end of this round, you'll have 24 double crochet stitches. And as before, ignore the chain two and slip stitch instead into the top of the first double crochet stitch of this round. This chain two and skipping method helps prevent the gap that oftentimes occurs at the beginning of double crochet in the round stitches. For round three, the pattern on this round is two double crochet stitches in the first stitch. Then follow it with one double crochet in the next stitch. And repeat, two double crochet stitches in the next stitch, then followed with one double crochet in the next stitch. Continue with this pattern around. At the end, you'll have 36 double crochet stitches. Do the slip stitch and chain two. For round four, the pattern on this round is two double crochet stitches in the first stitch, followed by one double crochet in the next stitch, and one more double crochet in the next stitch. Continue with this two, one, one around for a total of 48 stitches. Then for round five, we'll increase the pattern to two double crochet in the first stitch, followed by one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Two, and three. This round will have 60 stitches on it. For round six, I'm changing over to the white yarn for the rind section. And on this round, we'll start off with two double crochet stitches in the first stitch, followed by one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Two, three, and four. Continue with this pattern around for a total of 72 stitches. For this last round, I'm switching to a green color for the inner skin section. This time, chain one instead. And for this round, we'll be switching to half double crochet stitches instead. We'll start with two half double crochet in the first stitch, then make one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. Three, four, and five. Continue with this pattern around for a total of 84 stitches. Once this first side has been completed, I like to take some black yarn and a yarn needle. Then I use it to embroider seeds in the center watermelon part. If you notice, my yarn is doubled when doing this, as I like my seeds a bit more prominent. Feel free to experiment with using just a single strand instead while embroidering the seeds or even using more strands at the same time. And here's the one side of my watermelon pad once completed. You'll make a second one for extra thickness. Take the two sections and place them back to back with the good sides of the watermelon facing outwards on both sides. Place a slip knot on your hook. Slip stitch into any stitch along the edge of both pads. And chain one. Then make one half double crochet in each stitch around. 
As you do this, you'll want to ensure you are going through both layers of the watermelon pad to keep them together. And I've switched to a slightly darker green yarn, but feel free to use the same green as before. If you want, after the slip stitch, you can add a chain 8, then make 20 single crochet stitches in it to form a ring to hang on a hook. And that's it! That's how I crochet a watermelon pad for the kitchen. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.